Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. I want to do a video on the Detroit Red Wings and the recent trade they made with the New York Rangers acquiring Mark Stahl and a 2021 second round pick for future considerations. I think it's a brilliant move. You pick up a, a serviceable defenseman. You know, he's 33 years old, 5.7 million AAV. Doesn't have a lot of term left. And, um, you know, in, in this year he played in 52 games, 2 goals, 9 assists, 11 points. So he still is serviceable. You pick up that second round pick in next year's draft, which is very good as you, rest you know, get another uh, future asset. So that's always good. So it's good that Steve Geisman did this deal. Um, a lot of people don't, assumed he would do this, then buy out uh, Mark Stahl, which is not his intention. As he said, in this deal, not only do we get a defenseman that will go right into our lineup, that plugs a hole for us. We add a future asset as well, which is key. Um, he went, also went on to say that the Red Wings are in a position to do more deals like this in the future if they come along. There's a lot of uncertainty in the NHL. The Red Wings could find uh, teams that are that need cap space. And there's going to be a lot of teams that need cap space. So I could see more deals like this being done. Um, the Red Wings are in a good position this year. They have a lot of cap room. They could take on contracts like this while also building for the future. So I think it's very good that Steve, uh, Stevie Eisman came out and said this. Uh, it, it came out a, a little while ago that Sam Gagne was also re-signed to a one-year deal for 850000 That's good bringing him back for another year. Um, they will not be offering Trevor Daly and Jonathan Erickson new contracts. So I think that's why that's where this Mark Stahl deal came into play as he'll definitely plug one of those holes. Um, Jimmy Howard unlikely to resign with Detroit but is not yet ready to retire. So the Red Wings are going to need a goaltender. And that's where the report that the Red Wings may make a big pitch for goalie Jacob Marstrom comes into play. And I think that would be a good move for, for them for um, the future. As he's one of those netminders that, are, that have played well last year with the Canucks. And um, he's going to need a new deal. So um, if the Red Wings could pick him up, if they could solidify the defense, maybe add a Tory Krug via free agency as he's, he's a Detroit kid, could help out this team. You're going to see a different Detroit team next year. And, um, you know, lo looking at the upcoming draft, which is only weeks away, they have a first-round pick, three second-round picks, two third-round picks, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. So they're in a good position to pick very well at this upcoming draft. And they could add more if they make more trades leading up to the draft. Question is, what do they draft at the fourth position? I've done a video on this. I'll link it at the end. But... I, I'm curious to see where Stevie Y goes with this. I don't know where he's going. There's rumors of Askarov, the draft in that uh, Russian net mine that's really promise, promising. Uh, there's rumors of Perfetti, them liking him because of his high hockey IQ. And as you know, Stevie Eisenman, he likes those smart, intelligent hockey players. Um, there's rumors of grabbing Rossi, which you know I, I think they should go with. And then there's always those two defensemen in Drysdale and Sanderson that a lot of people are touting as being future great uh, defensemen in the NHL. So we'll have to see what the future holds with Detroit, but I really like this move uh, acquiring Mark Stahl. Gives them a player for now, and it gives them an asset for later. And, you know, it. it's curious to see what they do heading into free agency. They have a lot of cap space. They can make some trades. They could sign some players, and they could draft really well where some players can possibly go into the lineup next year if they're NHL ready. So... We'll have to see what happens with this, but I lo really like this move for Stevie Y and also for the Rangers as it frees up cap room for them and makes question marks of what will they do next. Are they planning to do this for a big move? As we know that, you know, the Lundqvist buyout is looming and um, they already said he's not going to come back. So curious to see what happens with both teams, but um, I really like this move for Detroit. Comment below what you think about this. Uh, do you like the trade for Mark Stahl? What do you think uh, Stevie Y will do in free agency and in the draft? Comment below. And thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Have a great night. And take it easy.